A marble doll cake. Yes, today we are going to be celebrating Black Lives and the Black Lives Matter movement with this stunning... Oh my god, it's incredible. This doll cake is incredible. Hi everyone, my name is Taraji P. Henson. Welcome to Quali Pops. Let's get started. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and then check out links in the description box to the ACLU as well as more information about the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, a while back, I created two doll cakes with black dolls. I hadn't seen any tutorials with black dolls and representation really matters, which is why I created those two cakes. I am really good at doll cakes. Can you see that? So today I wanted to honor Breonna Taylor, Tamira Rice, Sandra Bland with my cake craft. Black Lives Matter, they need to be celebrated and that's what we are doing today. So let's get to it. So to create this cake, I started with the cake that I baked in my Wilton's doll cake pan. Because I'm using black and white fondant on the outside, I decided to go with a pink. I love the way that pink and black look. It just looks stunning when you cut into this cake. I cut it into three equal slices, removed parts of the middle of the cake so that my doll's waist could fit in it, and then started to do the basics where I added buttercream into the middle of my cake in between each layer. So one of the most amazing things that I saw this year was the marching. The marching on Sunset Boulevard and all over the world to create change and to celebrate those that we have lost. George Floyd, Michael Brown, Eric Gardner, Stephen Clark, Freddie Gray, Alton Sterling, Oscar Grant, Sean Bell, Walter Scott, and so many others who have lost their lives. We may not know your names, but today we celebrate you. And I actually decided to make a doll cake to celebrate Breonna Taylor. Now to create this cake, it was actually pretty easy. I'm using Wilton's fondant and whenever I use white fondant, I take it out of the packaging and use it right away, which is why it's still molded to the fondant packaging shape. So just like any marbled cake, I'm adding my second color, just mushing it. Not completely, you don't want this to be a gray piece, you want black and white to sort of just mix just a little bit to get the marble color. Once I was happy with the marbling, I just started to roll out my fondant. This is going to be a large piece of fondant, about 9 inches in diameter. That's what you're going for. Now remember, the thicker your fondant, the larger the folds on the bottom will flow. If you want very small folds, then you want a thinner piece of fondant. Now I am using a cake board to cut out my shape. It's just so much easier to get a round shape that way. Pull away the excess and then just start to drape my fondant over my cake. Now I ended up liking the back side of my fondant, which is why I turned my fondant over and used it. I just think the colors look really nice. And while I was creating this cake, I was watching Ava DuVernay's 13th on Netflix, which is a documentary about the 13th Amendment. It's a very powerful documentary if you haven't seen it yet. So I'm adding a little bit of texture to the top of the dress. You don't really have to do this. You can't even see it. <laughs> I mean, you can't, right? There's so much color and marbling that the texture just gets lost. Now, because there is so much marbling, I decided to go with a very simple design. I just place a circle of dark marbled fondant to create the top of the gown. And then for a little bit of detail, I'm wrapping some white fondant to create a small belt. And voila, my doll cake is complete. Marbling on a doll cake, man, what an easy showstopper. Cause there was so much color in the black, it actually cracked, but the white fondant underneath didn't. And what could have been a disaster actually created a really cool effect for this dress. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember, there are links to the ECLU and to the Black Lives Matter movement in the description box. I also placed a list of names of everybody I mentioned today, as well as so many others. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. I love you. Peace.